Hey guys, welcome to an Ask RH edition again. Um, let's see, first question comes from John Float. He said, hey there, I'm a budding woodworker, have uh, beginnings of something resembling a shop. He's got a few tools that he mentioned. Um, says, do I have any plans uh, for the project of my table saw cabinet? And yes, I do. I can submit those to you by email. I'll just reply to yours. Uh, next question comes from, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, uh, Gunnar's Pikes or Pelks, maybe? I, I, it's hard to see. Pikes, P-E-I-C-S, so it's hard to see. Uh, let's see, he's watching a lot of my videos. See people use different types of wood to add accent, like Paduk, Babinga, less expensive walnut, maple. He lives in the north in, in Europe, and uh, all I can get in store is oak, pine, birch, and spruce. My question is, can I use wood stains or some kind of toned varnish to color them, and then glue together the boards, and will the colors stay on after a light sanding? Uh, yes, you can do that. You really need to be careful of the oil varnishes, or excuse me, the oil stains, because um, glue might have a hard problem sticking to a, a piece of wood that doesn't have the stain completely dried. Uh, you can probably use oil-based stain, or excuse me, uh, water. <laughs> you could probably use water-based stain, and that might help uh, work a little bit better. The glue can adhere to a water base a lot easier than it can an oil. Uh, I I would say just color the part that you want exposed, and then go from there. However, keep in mind, when you do the light sanding on it, you might ruin the look of the stain. Uh, but maybe just try it, uh, maybe try a sample and see how that goes. And if they stay together with your glue, then great. And then try and test sand on them and see how they look after that with a finish on it. Uh, I really can't give you a good yes or no to this just because I've never done it before that way. So uh, just try it out as a test and see what you come up with and let me know how it works. I would really like to know myself. Uh, next question from Mike Skalberg. Uh, he said, uh, I noticed in your recent videos you're always wearing scrubs. What do you do for a living? Uh, I am actually a multi-clinic site radiology supervisor. I am an RT registered. Uh, that just means registered technologist for radiology. And I work for an orthopedic group uh, in Oklahoma City. And I've uh, been there about three months. And I, before that, I was a director and an, uh, a technologist at uh, another orthopedic group in Norman, Oklahoma, just south of me. So uh, I've been doing x-ray for quite some time. And my wife is an RN, so we're all in the medical field together. Oh, and Wayne Jones, that's an answer to your question, too, because it's the same one. And I hear your wife's also an RN, so that's kind of cool. Everybody's in the medical field, apparently. Uh, Jeremy Schmidt, uh, do you use your radio alarm saw? What do you think of it? Um, to be honest, I haven't really used my radio alarm saw that much yet. I had one right before I got this one. I, this one was actually given to me free from my father. He got it at a, a discount place, didn't want it, gave it to me. Uh, it is a Craftsman professional line. Um, the thing I don't like about the Craftsman's is that it's very hard to keep those radio alarm saws tuned in to exactly zero. Um, the upside is it does have a laser with it, so I can line up my lines with that laser, and it doesn't exactly have to be true, but if you're really wanting something that's going to stay true and, and where you don't have to keep fiddling with it, uh, that model probably isn't the way to go. And I don't know, because I haven't used it so much, my, my sliding compound tends to take the place of it a lot, but it has its place, I just haven't found a big place for it in my shop yet. I don't plan on getting rid of it. I do plan on incorporating a, a counter and a cabinet with it. So when that time comes, I'll do a video on that and it'll be a permanent fixture of my shop. Okay, that about does it for the questions. I got a few project submissions that uh, somebody sent me. Um, one of them was from Frank Tart. Uh, he has an Aztec drum slit tongue drum, wait, Aztec drum slit drum tongue drum. Man, that's a mouthful. Anyway, he uh, was commissioned to do a tongue drum, as you can see here in these pictures, and he uh, said here that uh, it is uh, made with red oak, oak and a maple top. Uh, all projects he had seen online called for rubber super balls at the ends of the drumsticks, just couldn't see using those, so he made the ends out of dowels, uh, made the ends and dowels out of oak. Um, I asked him how that sounded, and uh, he said it sounded just fine, however, he's been commissioned to do another one, and they want, it, want Super Balls on the end, so he's going to have to do it anyway. Uh, but uh, I think that looks beautiful, and uh, I just wanted to commend Frank on that. That is a great project. Good job. 
Uh, let's see, Donald Dean sent me a standing planter box, and he said he got the idea from WGOA, Woodworkers, probably Guild of America or something like that, America, America, America. Uh, but it is a beautiful stand, and that could even be uh, like a like a raised like a raised bed for gardening as well, not just for just for plants. I mean, it could be for gardening too, but. That thing is heavy duty looking. I'm I'm impressed by that. I my I, it's probably a good thing I haven't showed my wife because that's probably going to be something on my honeydew list. Uh, but Don, that looks great. Hey, Dean Lehman sent me a project of a giant Jenga set. He actually saw this as inspiration on Big Bang Theory, and he wanted to build himself a set. Not quite as big, but as you can see in the pictures, it is plenty big. I asked him if he needed hard hats to play that game. <laughs> uh, last one, Matthew Johnson submitted a rocking chopper basically it's a motorcycle it looks like a chopper it's on a rocking base uh, it is gorgeous he's used uh let's see he said about 40 hours one trip to the er don't know what that was about i guess a for he said a forstner bit 80s finger <laughs> ouch uh let's see didn't have any plans just what was in my head piece it together i can't see what it's made out of it kind of looks like uh maybe bloodwood and walnut, some maple or oak. It's hard to tell in the pictures exactly, but I think that is such a cool idea. And the child on the in the picture looks like he's enjoying it too. I really am impressed by that. That is that is awesome. 40 hours, that's a pretty good turnaround. So that was awesome. I like that, Matthew, very much. Thank you for sharing that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, last project that I did, which was the rubber band gun, ping pong ball, pee pee gun, I so lovingly call it. This one right here was the camo wrapped one. The white one is still up for auction on eBay, so I invite you guys to check out that. Uh, this one's going to my nephew for his birthday that we're going to tomorrow, which is why I'm not prob I'm probably not going to have a video out this weekend just because we're going to be so tied up. And I do apologize for that, you all. Uh, but I hope you can bear with me and wait one more week and I'll give you something else. I hope you guys plan on building that. And if you do, uh, be sure and share it with me. I'd really love to see it. Don't forget you can follow me on all my social media. You can submit me projects on my website as well as Facebook. Oh yeah, one other thing. Don't forget if you want to submit me a project, you can go to my website, send me an email. The, the subject line will be pro viewer project submission. If you have a shop that you want to share, any pictures that you have, go ahead and submit those to me too. I have kept all the emails from people that have sent me things, so they will be posted to my website. Just I haven't had the time to do it, so I'm probably going to let Josh do that for me. Uh, also, if you have a question that you want to submit to me of any nature, be sure and send me an email with the hashtag for the subject line. Hashtag AskRH, and I will be able to answer those for you on another broadcast. i got to wrap this up, so I hope to see you guys uh, coming up very soon. And uh, I'm probably going to make a... Oh, I don't know what I'm going to make. <laughs> Never mind. I'll, I'll just surprise you next time, just like I did this time. So uh, be sure and follow me on all my other stuff, and I will see you next time. Bye.